Welcome back to Banished. And we have a successful self-sustaining village. At least I think we do. Um, ooh, look at all the materials we have. Nice. This is good. And the goal that I have for today's video is to create a uh, trading post right out along the river. So, let's see. Uh, last episode, we built this bridge across the way. I think it was last episode, anyways. Um, so now, why don't we just set up the blueprints right away? Um, wait, which one is it? Is, is it... Oh, okay. Trading post. Um, it's, it's really awkward the way that this is set up along the river, but, oh, there we go. There's a spot. Okay. Now, it might take a while because it's so far away, but people will begin to work on that. So, I'm just going to speed up time. And yeah, our population was actually increasing quite a lot last episode. We now have 17 adults, 2 students, and 9 children. Oh, that's right, I need laborers to do that. Okay. Oh, and more people became students now. Now, I think we should be able to, uh, in the meantime, collect all of this iron. at this let's uh, set up the blueprints for the road out here uh, the way this was built was kind of weird because this road is at three uh, tile road but you know, I think that'll be all right Oops, I accidentally closed that a bit. About there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just kind of drag that out a little bit. Um, let's go check on our market, or our, uh, trading post uh, please excuse the very low frame rate when I zoom out this far because it is actually really bad
Um, where's it at? There it is. Come on, guys. Let's speed up time. They're being really slow about this. Alright, we have another laborer. An educated laborer. Which is always really good. Firewood is low, that's alright. Beautiful winter. It is really nice to just look at our storage and just see a big pile of logs like that. It's a little bit more logs over here too. Are we gonna have a firewood problem? Let's check in our uh, woodcutter. Is he educated? Uh, no. So, until he dies at old age or something, uh, we might have a slight firewood problem, but I think we're going to be fine. Hopefully, at least. Let's go back and check on our place here. Um, a whole 2%. Wow. Well, they'll be really slow about that because it's just so far away. Oh, come on, laborers. What are you doing? Is it the builders that do that? I'm always so confused because it's never like a one specific thing. I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, we're gonna need 40 iron so it, yeah we're gonna need more iron and if we want to build that Ooh, look at all that nice iron deposit right there I wish I could just pick up one of the people and just drag them over here and make them do that. <laughs> Probably sounds horrible. doing anything oh come on all right now that they are all right all right I didn't see them that's gonna take a while though I'm on 10 times speed I wish it wasn't so far away um I think our people are starting to get crowded I'm gonna turn that the time real quick Let's check. Uh, kind of. I think our people will be fine for now, though. So. Alright, yeah, we got plenty of iron from over there already, so we're going to be able to build this. 
it's just going to take a while. You know what? I'm thinking we should build a well for aesthetics. Because it's a cool little centerpiece. Oh, I wish it fit in there properly. It just takes a lot of stone, but I think we shouldn't need to worry about stone. See when we have more buildings built. All right, eighteen adults, seven students, seven kids. Population is going up. All right, they're working on that a little bit faster now. All right, our firewood problem is no longer our uneducated fire wood dude or woodcutter is uh, actually doing pretty good ooh look at all the iron pretty soon they're gonna need to go back to these stockpiles I'm just going to see how many materials this is. That's actually not that many. But we, we don't really need it until uh, we have a higher population. Alright, people are just going to do that. And pretty soon I'm going to need to make them into builders to go build that. Which should be a faster process. Because they don't have to go back and forth. Oh, we have another student. Eight students. This is looking good. It is taking a really long time to build this. It's just so far away. Alright. They're almost done bringing over the resources. They need to bring over 20 more iron. And then I can make them into builders. Ooh, look at that. We have a total of 5 laborers now. So we should have five people bringing over resources now, so it'll be a lot faster. Another laborer and another student. Alright, look at that. Let's turn all these guys into builders. And they'll come over and do this. We have a firewood problem again. Hopefully he fixes that. Seriously? Oh, because it's the winter, they have to go inside and take breaks. Oh, we have another laborer. Another laborer. Nice. Look at that. We have eight free laborers. That's being built. Alright, 
so in just a like a 30 seconds or something that should be built ah another child was born look at this our people are eating making tools gathering the resources doing everything on their own meaning that we pretty much have a self-sustaining thing uh look another student well look at that i'm gonna turn this down it's fully built and all we need is uh some traders I'm not quite sure why we would need six, but let's, um, wait, uh, here, I'll just make six of them for now, and see if we need them, ah, nope, that's, I'll do, I'll do four, cause, why not? Um, okay, I'll turn these guys back into laborers. Okay, so we should have traders come down. And then, every once in a while, we should have a, uh, a merchant drive down the river in his boat. And we would be able to uh, trade things. A child named Warren was born. Uh, we can actually trade firewood because I think firewood is a good thing to trade. So I'm going to turn that up to. I'll do 350. You can also trade tools. Let's turn up the tools. Let's do, uh, I don't know. 45. Why not? Alright, we have another student and another kid was born. Wow, do we have crowded houses now? Almost. We pretty much do. If we let this continue for a little bit longer, they, people would start living in the boarding house. We should get a notification when the trader comes, so I'm not too worried about keeping an eye on over there. Um, let's build a house. I don't think we need to worry about stone houses unless we're turned on natural disasters. Um, We have more laborers now. Um, let's see. Could a house fit that? No. Probably. So let's just carry this on out like that. And like that. And then I'll have uh, back to back houses along here. And then just one row of houses along there. Alright. Uh, we just need builders. So let's do three builders, three laborers. Um, I'll do one more house, right? Oh, it won't fit. Dang it, hold up. I'm gonna pause, uh, time real quick. Get rid of that. And, let's see if houses will fit now. Alright, now they will. I'm fine with it being like that. It'll be like a neighborhood road.
the reserve of food is low. Uh oh. This is where things can get messy. So, I am going to quickly. I, this might just be like a small temporary thing. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Actually, let's build a uh, fishing thingy. Fishing dock. Just right there will do, I guess, apparently. Uh, I'm going to turn up the... Uh, the uh, what is what is it called? Increase priority. Sorry. I hope this is just temporary. All right, our food is going up, so I think we're gonna be fine. But we're gonna need extra food, more than what we need is always good so yeah let's just uh, hire uh let's just do four fishermen because that's the max we could do turn them into laborers all right so we're gonna have someone fishing for us too who i hope that doesn't happen that is actually kind of freaky do we have people living here yeah, we do nice We still have a full house of people, though, so we can build more houses. Um, if I build a town hall, I can see this, like uh, some stats of the uh, number of families and stuff compared to houses. Because we want to have the same number of houses, if not more, than the uh, number of families. So we should build a town hall soon. Uh, let's see. Let's actually build another house right here. Uh, turn them. Actually, no, they could be laborers. Look at that. They took all the iron already. Nice. Okay, now they can be builders. I'll do another house, too. People were born, another one became a student. Alright. We might need another woodcutter. Because we keep getting that firewood. Uh. A firewood, uh. Warning. Uh, the thing is, people do grab the firewood and take it into their own houses. And just because we don't have any in our storage, just doesn't mean we don't have any at all. But because this house is new, people just moved in. They don't have any firewood to grab, so hopefully they're fine. Alright, they have a tiny bit of firewood now. Alright, they should be fine for now. I think we're going to need another woodcutter, though. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pause the game. Do we have any crowded families? Oh, uh, we still do. Actually, no. Those are kids, but still, they're gonna become adults soon. All right, fine. One more house. And this thing I haven't been doing it, but you can is. Uh, you can actually change the style of your house by pressing F, but I just let it go to random. Alright, laborers. Nope, okay, builders.
Alright, no one's living in there yet. And this, we have more houses than families. But this crowded house of people will eventually move out. One of them is a student. Meaning, uh, they're gonna move into the house soon. I wish that merchant would come by. See, I still don't completely understand how this works. But, you know, it's alright. Alright, another kid was born. Doing good. Anyone moving there yet? Nope. Uh, you can kind of tell because there's no smoke coming out of the chimney. Um, fish. Are we getting fish? We are getting fish. Are the house taking more fish? That, not that house. Another kid was born. It's always good. Alright. Uh, and it's always extremely good to, uh, kind of change up your people's diets, meaning have multiple sources of food, like fish, hunting cabin, uh, gatherer's hut, uh, low on firewood. You know what, we're going to need to build another woodcutter, so instead of building a, another house right now, because we don't need it, uh, that, because that just means we need more firewood, the more houses we have, the more firewood we need. So, let's take up a, uh, woodcutter. And place them where, like, I'll just, I'll just put them right there. Huh. You know what? Nah. Hold on. Wait, wrong thing. I mean, let's add this spacing like we did over there. How much spacing spacing did we do? Um, I can tell by taking out a road. One, two, two. All right, just to make it look nice, uh, I'll add two spacings. Mm -hmm. And that like perfectly gets off the road there. All right, so laborers will bring over the resources. Oh, look at that! Merchant has arrived at a trading post. Past time, so looks weird, but um, there he is. What does he have for us? Wool. Um, we don't need wool. Can I order something from him? Uh, let me see. Order. He doesn't have seeds. Let's see. Um, we don't need anything from him. Do we want anything from him? Um, I'll do an order of iron just once. And so when he leaves, he should bring us iron the next time he comes by. But uh, a lot of the time, a different merchant will come by. So it's not always going to be the same merchant, but... Whenever he comes back, we'll have iron from him. I was hoping he would give us seeds, but that's alright. We have another student. Good, good. Okay. Look at that. Another woodcutter. Alright, I'm gonna turn both of our laborers into, or both of our builders into laborers. Uh, turn one of them into a woodcutter. And now, we should have that. Wait, I'm gonna try some. Can I turn up that? No? Okay, I can't. Okay, so we should have two woodcutters. Meaning more firewood. So we shouldn't have a firewood problem for now, at least. We might also want another forester. Um, 
Alright, that forester basically takes up all that space. Uh-oh. Uh, well, it's alright. Eri the forester has died of old age. Uh, and Valen has replaced Eri as a forester. Uh, Valen must have been a laborer that I didn't see. Oh yeah, and then we have another laborer, so we just have one laborer now. Reserve of food is low, what do you mean? Come on, fishers. Fish for us. It's because we have more houses. I wish those six students would just turn into adults right now. And we could probably build it like another hunting cabin or something. Uh, real quick, let's just grab all of this. It's just sitting right there. And... Okay. And so, people who don't have anything to do in their job will go do that. And so will our one laborer. We are on uh, year 10 of our playthrough, which is good. Okay. Let's just have them gather these resources real quick. Um, yep, there they go. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. Uh, we set up a lot more houses, uh, kind of expanded the roads, we built another woodcutter, someone died of old age, but that's okay, we have a lot more adults, uh, since yesterday, or since last episode, you know, um, now has become an adult, working as a laborer, alright, we have another laborer now, good, good, uh, we set up this fishing dock, so we can have more food, we might need more source of food though because we have more houses and uh, the biggest thing we set up this trading post meaning that uh, one of these days uh, a merchant will come by and give us seeds which is what we want and then we could start a nice big beautiful farm Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next episode or the next video. Anyways, peace.